Grand Rising Citizens, this is the Neo Tokyo News Broadcast. Finance is brilliant move in building a big boat for the flood. A story about a road trip down a highway through hell. A Super Smash Bros. tournament in the mix. Developments down at the Citizen Workstation. Some valuable locker room talk. Animoca brands making their next giant purchase and much more. Bringing you your weekly recap for all the spiciest stories. Live from the heart of the Citadel, here's what's making news. Greetings to the listeners of the Neo Tokyo News Broadcast. I am your host, Outer Citizen Shamsi number 769, bringing you the news powered by the NT News Team. Why support the media? Damon Needs to Create writes about the relentless efforts put into the news production by the team where our leaders, reporters and editors work hard to create a reliable source of entertainment and information for the community. Most of the time, media is vilified for mishandling the power they possess by feeding people information that they've been paid to push, although this was never the case. Historically, media and media personnel were respected, had standards, less agendas and more importantly, they could be trusted. Media's younger sibling, social media, seems to be an Apple that didn't fall far from the tree and is known for its negative reputation and manipulative techniques. The youngest sibling of the bunch, however, is Web3. Although the first child is always the favorite, this toddler is learning quick and is set to grow faster and larger than its siblings. Right now, NT News is a prototype of Web3 Media, a blueprint that you are part of as an experiment where we speak directly to a small community of like-minded people establishing powerful relationships. Every article you read or not read affects our attention and understanding of the relationship we have with you and every bit of your feedback, attention, respect and criticism is what we work for. Join us on our quest to slowly unfold this revolution in media and allow us to speak with you and not at you. If you enjoy NT News, we ask you to speak up and send us some of your thoughtful words saying why. Offer suggestions or ideas or changes you'd like to see us implement and we will ensure to collectively build a media house that serves our community just the way they like it. And most importantly, please like and subscribe and turn on those notification bells on YouTube, Spotify and all other streaming platforms so you don't miss another publishing of Neo Tokyo's news broadcast. When Becker comes out to say he's never seen a day like this in crypto before, you know we're going through some choppy waters because Becker is known to be cold-blooded in the streets of Cryptoville. Bad Future writes about things heating up down at the prominent lending app Celsius, who pause withdrawals, swaps and transfers between accounts during this week due to extreme market conditions where billions worth of crypto is currently frozen. But why would a company that size hold key operations of the network, you ask? Well, it's so Celsius can put themselves in a better position to honor over time withdrawal obligations. But what about the users trying to put themselves in a better position? Rightly warranted outrage filled the timeline as Bitcoin sank to the lowest level since late 2020 and CEL token declined in price and the freeze blocked people from being able to manage their risk. Although it's not clear what caused the freeze, many believe low confidence in the company's operations with some blaming investments that the company had made in Lido State Ethereum had a helping hand in baking this carnage cake. Ironically, 24 hours before Celsius collapsed, in his truest Duquan fashion, Alex Mashinsky, the CEO of Celsius, publicly asked on Twitter if even one person had trouble withdrawing from Celsius. Anyway, swiftly moving on, the idea of holding regular town hall events in NT has been mentioned and requested for several months. The riddles and games that led to the foundation of this meta city produced an air of mystery that was once intriguing and inspiring, but the magic wore off a bit and citizens began clamoring for more transparency about involvement in the direction of the project. With Firestorm being recently appointed as the manager of the project and the formation of the anti-community leads team, Neo Tokyo is ready to begin a new era of transparency and togetherness. The community leads team will be hosting our first community town hall on Monday, the 20th of June at 2 p.m. ET in the Outer Realm comms. We have a lot to unfold about the community lead team's who, what, where, why and when, the processes, accountability and what we've done, and some Q&A which you can pre-submit by using the form found in the NT announcement channel. The community leads team will be taking the lead on the first town hall, but Elio has also expressed interest in partaking in our future meetings. See you there on Monday. Do you know what loot, small brains and crypto punks have in common? They were all free NFTs. In this current market setting, with hundreds of projects launching daily, it's hard for us to put our trust in free mints, especially when wallet hacks are looming large. Most projects that launch run lengthy campaigns and mint out for 0.07 or 0.1 ETH, which is something the free NFTs don't have to partake in. These projects usually move like the G in lasagna dropping stealth updates via Twitter and final details about the mint often only hours before the drop. But by the time you find the info, it's most likely too.
too late, unless you have a degen sweatshop where NFT researchers keep their eyes peeled for upcoming stealth news from projects, your chances of striking gold on the first swing are very slim. Kaz writes that luckily what's minting.live, which is a mint tracking tool, is a great way to keep record of what mints are trending in real time within the last minute. Now of course you shouldn't blindly put money in all these projects and do some research beforehand, but this does remove some hurdles out the way. Kaz also cautions us about NFTs that aren't instant reveal. The likelihood of an NFT project being a rug increases if it doesn't reveal instantly. Now you can go deeper into your research and check the contract details on Etherscan, which will show you the supply details. You want to make sure the max supply is added a minimum less than 10,000 and no smaller than 500. You can also check the max mint number which shows you how many NFTs each wallet can mint. The lower this number, the less of a chance there is for the NFTs to be centralized into Wales' wallets, creating an open playing field for the minters. The same can be applied to the section about the team claim amount where you don't want to mint if the team supply is over 20%. As the space grows, the number of free NFTs will only increase, so Kaz's crash course on minting free NFTs and running some pre-flight safety checks will save you from a ton of turbulence. From the the heights of the beanstalk down to the basement, Phoenix Down writes about how Jack is back. Our beloved basement lead Jack is back from his well-earned break and has announced his VC sessions that returned this weekend. Jack was accompanied by Fatal Pie down in the basement who showed off his new hobby live. We hope you tuned in. Welcome to Neo Tokyo Sports, ladies and gentlemen. That was Zihai from the commentary box who writes about Quincy Amariqua, a professional football player, entrepreneur and artist that he ran across while moving from workstation to workstation within the Citadel. Quincy being a free agent is currently looking to enter his 14th year as a pro player. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right. With Messi-esque dribbling tendencies on the pitch and a finishing touch no short of Karim Benzema, Big Q also brings his inner Iniesta and dishes through balls off the pitch in the world of Web3. Evolve NFTs is described as a Web 2.5 project aimed at providing a supportive environment to educate those crypto-curious folks who have been watching from the bench. The cool thing about the Discord server is its sports arena-style design where most of the action takes place in the locker room stashed with crypto Hall of Famer midfielders to new signings at our club. For further detail, well, you spoil for choice. Visit Evolve NFT's website or watch watch Quincy's YouTube sketch comedy, or mingle with the pros over at the locker room. Remember, practice makes you perfect, so let's prepare ourselves for those future Ballon d'Ors. And now it's time for an intermission. If you like what you hear, then look no further and dial ntnews.eth into your wallets and give us all of the Ethereum that you have somehow managed to not sell at the bottom. Yep, I know, there's people like that out there. You know that feeling of looking through an old jacket and finding some cash? Yep, well go look through that jacket, find that cash, and send it right our way because the Neo Tokyo News team provides alpha for you day in and day out and all we ask for is, well, nothing. So let's switch off those TVs, get up off the couch, grab that jacket, and chuck some change into our donation jar. Any donations at ntnews.eth are greatly appreciated. Thanks for your support, now it's time to get back to the show. While the markets tumbled this week, Animoca Brands announced their acquisition of over 80% of the educational content technology company TinyTap for around $39 million with a vision to generate educational blockchain-related content. The CEO of this citizen-led project, yep, that's right, Yatsu owns a anti-identity, we literally are everywhere, mentioned how TinyTap is a strong and proven leader of the UGC education field and his team at Animoca plans to allow educators to generate equity from their creations while offering parents enhanced learning opportunities for their kids via Tiny Tap. Animoca has been focused on bringing digital ownership rights to people via gaming, and this move into the educational sphere is another big leap in their journey to becoming a greater force of change for this space. With Tiny Tap being the world's most extensive educational games library, boasting over 20,000 activities from publishers such as Oxford University Press, this acquisition is set to further empower the user-generated content model that shares revenue with creators driving this platform. $1.5 billion in Animoca's in investment chests currently show no signs of slowing down. Now, slowing down does have its benefits, especially if you spend your time in nature. Zihai writes that it can be argued that humanity is losing its connection with nature and shifting into the Industrial Revolution is where we went off track. Not only is Earth itself suffering, we've created a socio-ecological environment that cultivates anxiety, depression and other mental illnesses which can lead to deeper trauma. In that case, we need to deep dive into nature's offerings and look to ancient societies for guidance. Ayahuasca has suddenly become known 
throughout the Western world and has been integrated as vision quests into many treatment centers' programs. Psilocybin treatment is also held in high regard by many reputable institutions. Now, knowledge on these matters is scarce and many people don't know where to look for reliable practitioners and facilitators for this type of work. Wouldn't it be great if we had a Neo-Tokyo citizen trained in psychology who had studied for years with healers in the Amazon and was now building a Web3 friendly psychedelic retreatment center in the paradise? Well, Z Center won't be open to the public for another year or two, but in the meantime, he's available to provide counsel to any NT citizens wanting to delve into this realm of therapy. His hotline is ready for blinging, but only after this weekend, because this is his time in nature. This is the lifestyle of a man who truly understands how to prioritize growth and healing in life. That was refreshing. Now it's time to hit F5 on the new Bytes 2.0 update. With the arrival of PM Firestorm working closely with the Demon Overlord and the members of the Community Leads team, as well as scheduling weekly meetings with Mr. Fudd TV himself, we now have means to get regular updates. It appears that the teams are working hard on implementing these updates, despite ZSS being a bit overzealous in his estimation of how long it would take. NT's tokenomics team and Superfarm's devs fired up a storm of productivity, finding new points of revision that will help get the system ready for final testing. NTOG Sign will be the lead implementing the bytes and citizen staking features once all the Web3 features are ready for their big rollout. Another feature in high demand, the bytes migration into a layer 2 or cheaper alternative blockchain seems to be a crucial point of focus for the bytes economy to be eligible to facilitate more efficient raffles, subscriptions and other integration systems into the gaming ecosystem. Word on the street is that Thrasher is being summoned for his expertise to be leveraged for this quest, although there is no significant progress report yet. This might be a great time to put your hard hats on because we are headed to the Citizen Workstation, a place where we highlight the work that the citizens are currently doing. First up, Atomic Sushi shares his work on a NT-themed text-based game in Purge Club that is based on ID 1632, a female driver finding her way into the Citadel. Secondly, we have DGen Legion NFT, brought to you by the citizen DGN Cap, a seven-figure trader, here to share some face-melting alpha analysis and lessons from high-level traders right in their Discord. All links in their socials. And last, but definitely not the least, you know what? You can hear it from the man himself. Shoulda, coulda, but would you? That's right. Here's a little backstory from a citizen who started his transition into trading from a sales and dropshipping business and is now building up a real estate portfolio with multifamily units. But Woodge's eponymous Discord is a place where people collect to learn and educate each other about crypto and finance while he shares what he learns daily with going as far as taking Udemy and Solidity courses to add to his shareable knowledge base. This community was built by... But would you? Teaching himself and showing others how things are done. The growing maturity and impact of and within this community is testament to the power of his presence and inviting persona stretching arms to all spheres of crypto enthusiasts. With a YouTube channel, beginner content, interview style broadcasts, multiple avenues teaching you how things are done, what But would you has established is truly a vast pool of knowledge that is mutually beneficial. But would you is now creating an extension of the Outer Citizen Spotlight where he takes each week's spotlight and hosts a featured guest on his YouTube channel for an in-depth interview. This is some really exciting stuff for the S2s and I recommend you check out But Woodger's social media. Now let's step away from the Citizen Workstation and get back to the news. NT Ben, founder of Swap Street IO, ripped a page out of his notebook to bring us the 10 most valuable lessons for all Web3 builders. Lessons learned through founding and co-founding BasicNeeds.help, SwapStreet.io, Fukushima.fish and GreenCandle.consulting all within a year. So here's some of the ingredients to the final recipe that you can find on NT News' section of the Neo Tokyo website. Here we go. Don't count the days, make the days count. The best projects start with passionate people who share different goals that align just the right amount to make something amazing happen. The most difficult mountain to overcome is yourself. Don't think, just start. And some advice from Elio, stay obsessed. Staying obsessed is the drive that anyone needs to do their best at continuing to build. Ben also highlights the importance of being a servant leader and always treating your team members and helpers better than you treat yourself. Some flavorsome words of wisdom that were wholeheartedly served to a community that understands the importance of insights of this nature. More news from the week. 
888club.eth is an investment DAO that allows members to hold top-tier NFTs and passively earn Ethereum. The team's plan is simple, to purchase passive yield-generating NFTs and Metaverse land out of which the initial purchase includes Neo Tokyo, Bored Ape Yacht Club, Cyber Kongs, Imposters, Nifty League, DGENs and land in Sandbox, NFT Worlds and World Wide Web. Although you may think this is the case, the project is not offering shared ownership of the NFTs, but rather enabling members to have access to airdrops, passive yields in Ethereum terms, alongside access to play to earn and play and earn functionalities provided through the NFTs. So how do we enter the club? Send one ETH to 888.ETH wallet from an ENS wallet with a .ETH address. One of the additional perks is that your investment is a loan to the DAO, so the first one ETH received back as yield is a non-taxable event. You might want to hurry up though, because the wallet is open and already receiving contributions. Once the wallet balance reaches 888 Ethereum, all members will be airdropped an NFT which will serve as a pass for the full club access. More information on 888.ETH's Twitter page. Alright, hold on now, it's time for some alliterations. Crypto Winter is here bringing a blizzard of beaten up coins that have been bleeding and finding it hard to breathe because of the fall of the biggest, baddest and bleakest coin of the bunch, Bitcoin. With soaring inflation and the tech industry axing more jobs in the month of May than the first four months of 2022, the financial and labor markets in the industry are shaken up to say the least. Companies such as Microsoft, Coinbase, Robinhood and several others have consolidated workforces due to the seismic shift in the markets. Kaz also continues about a knight in shining armor appearing out of the dust and rubble holding a torch of hope. A hero crypto needs but doesn't deserve. A hero on the hunt for the greatest minds in the space ready to offer over 2,000 roles at Binance. Yes, CZ, the CEO of Binance, claimed that if we are in crypto winter, we will leverage that and use it to the max. Sounds like a bit of a citizen move, isn't it? Binance's secret to accumulating a solid war chest of funds is their restriction on spending for marketing campaigns and promotional material, including the Super Bowl ads or naming rights. These sacrifices allowed them to have millions of dollars which can now be used to attract new talent and grow the space alongside Binance as a whole. This is perfect timing when the space desperately needs the support. With that being said, don't wait around. Go to Binance's website if you're looking for a job or have been replaced lately and scout for open positions which could be a great place to start. Block Editor writes about the Outer Citizen Spotlight. OX Steven formed Rift Pass from the ideas of making a better trading platform which was initially only supposed to be for the inner team but after identifying a gap in the market, the project now saw a facelift. Steven's train of thought choo-chooed its way into asking a valuable question wouldn't it be so much easier if you could just trade on your phone, on the go and have all your trading tools in one convenient place? So what is Rift Pass? It is the first NFT trading tool available on mobile. The application houses rarity roles, rank reveals, analytics, a wallet tracker, a deal sniper feature and much more. The app has been submitted to the App Store and is currently in beta testing. So how do we gain access to Rift's ecosystem? You'll need to hold one Genesis Pass which will then allow you access to the ecosystem. For more details check out the white paper or OX Stevens socials. And now for the final story of the week. The anti-plays and non-fungible arcade Super Smash Bros. Duos tournament just concluded and we have a winner. The tournament was live streamed on Twitch and voiced by Ducks and Milnash and the likes of Firestorm who showed up with a fire Neo Tokyo hat on. We saw B and Bob kicking... AVAX, Prostar and Gambit with the combos, Jason and Jaden holding it down throughout the tournament but in the end the Rat Kingdom prevailed. Rat King and Jaden 4X took home the dub and have now been awarded with $2,500 in bites by Alex Becker and also two Neo Tokyo S2s as well as whitelist for non-fungible arcade. This was another spectacular event that solidified Neo Tokyo's credibility in this space, bringing you great events back to back without fail. And that is all for this week's Neo Tokyo News Broadcast. This has been your host, Outer Citizen Shumsi number 769, bringing you the news powered by the NT News Team. Music brought to you by the team at Music Mainnet. We hope you enjoyed this broadcast and look forward to serving you day in and day out. Until next time, data streams connecting our minds, tying Neo Tokyo together. <laughs>